In this video, let us see how to deploy Django for free on render. So using render, you can deploy Django in just a few button clicks. So before you proceed ahead, first, let me give you what project that we're going to deploy. So this is just a sample exam or management system that build using Django. So let me uh, start the Django server now. Python manage the py run server. First, I will show you the demo of this project. Then I will show you how you can deploy this project on render. So let me open this URL. You can see that this is just a dashboard where if we have student uh, register, student login, and we can also have the same for the teacher register and the teacher login. First, you can create a student register. So this is just a sample project that I have created. The UI is not that good, but the functionality will work. So let me create an account. So let's also enter our email address for the password. Just type your password and I'm going to select the role as student and click on register. This will create an account for us. Now let's go to the form page again. So let's go to the phone route to select the student login. So let's select the student login and I'm going to use the same credentials to login. You can see that this is the student dashboard where we have the option to create the exam. That is the student has completed the exam. So we have an option called the fields exam details. Just select that and select your year. The student can also select the exam type and we stop or uh, teach the subject. So enter your staff name for example I'm gonna type randomly and for the subject I'm gonna type python and submit you can see that our submitted exams the status is in pending and the action is awaiting grading so this is the student dashboard we can do the same for the teacher dashboard where the teacher can evaluate the answer sheets so let's log out and I'm gonna go to the form route now so let me log in using this teacher credentials so I have already have your account on this so I will log in using the credential and click on login. You can see that this is the uh, teacher dashboard where it, it has all the exams that the teacher has created. You can see that we have the CAT 1 for the first year, CAT 1 for the second year and CAT 1 for the uh, third year along with the subject and created dates on. And you can also view the submissions. If you want to create a new exam, you have your option called the create exam and you can click on that and create your own exam here. Select your exam type. You can do the same here. So let's select the uh, cat one or select the year. And you can upload your question paper and answer key to create the exam. So let me uh, click on back. If you want to see the submissions, that is the students has enrolled in their exams. You can do that by click on view submissions. So consider we have the two students registered for this exam. This is the student two uh, that is registered for the cat one and he is on the first year. You can upload the answer sheet here by clicking on this browse so after you have selected the answer sheet you can upload here so this is the sample of the project that we're going to deploy on this video that is the sample exam management system so let's go to the code now so before you proceed here we need to change something in the settings.py file just go to your settings.py file and if you scroll up you can see an option called the allowed force make sure you include asterisk so we don't know what the URL will be after we deploy. So that's why we're going to load all the force. Asterisk means we're going to load all the force. So make sure you include this. Also need to create a file called requirements.txt file where we put all our requirements on this requirements.txt file. So let me create a file. I'm going to put all my uh, dependencies on this file. You can see that I have typed all my dependencies. We need Google Generative AI, IMU PDF and Django. So these are the dependencies that we need for this project. I'm gonna type all these dependencies in this requirements.txt file. So that's it. Next, we need to push uh, all these files to the GitHub. So we need our files to the GitHub so that we can deploy to the render in just a few button clicks. Just go to the github.com and click on new button to create a new repository and give your name for your repository. I have already uploaded all my project files to the repository. Let me go to the repository that I have created earlier. So let me select or uh, repositories you can see that this is the repository that i have uploaded all my project files so make sure you upload all your project files on the github you can see that so i don't have the requirements.txt file that i have created now so let's add the requirements.txt file so just click on add a file and select upload files so let me choose the requirements.txt file so let's go to project folder and let's select the requirements.txt file that we have created now and click on open and just click on commit changes. Now the uh, file will be uploaded successfully on this GitHub. You can see that now we have the requirements.txt file in this GitHub. So if you go to the A for paper folder, 
consider just make sure that the allow to force this or uh, enable to the asterisk make sure you uh, put asterisk on this allow to force once we have uploaded all of our project files to the github then we can go to the render.com to deploy it just open a new tab and type render and click on the first result that says render so you have to create your account on this render.com so if you don't have your account you can create your account just click on sign up so i will recommend you create your account using the github just click on github and select your account but i have already have your account so i will log in using my github credentials so just click on github so i will select my github credentials you can see that now i have logged in successfully to the render dashboard you can see that i have already deployed three django projects on this render.com you can see that one portfolio and one other file and the one elanos uh, project so if you want to deploy a new django project just uh, click on the new option you can see an option call it press icon just select that and select web service just click on that web service here you have an option called the git provider so when you log in for the first time you'll have to hire your github account you can see that i have connected my github account to this so when you log in for the first time make sure you connect your github account to this render then only it will list all your repositories that you have created in the github you can see that we have the a connection repository that we have created now it is displaying here or if you don't want to connect your github account you can just uh, copy and paste your github link in this public git repository you don't have to connect you can just copy and paste the url here and you can then proceed here but i will recommend you to connect your github account so that it will list all the github repository here you can see that this is the github repository a correction and here also we have the a correction just select that and click on connect so if you want to change your project name you can do that but i will leave this as default next we need to select the project so leave uh, everything as default and the language is python and the branch is main branch so make sure you select your github repository is on the main branch if it is on the master branch make sure you update here to master branch but since it is your main branch i will leave that as default and for the build command make sure the requirements.txt file is present in the github you can see that we have the requirements.txt file so make sure you add the requirements.txt file and for the start command we need a library called the unicorn so we'll have to add this unicorn to the requirements.txt file so let me click on this requirements.txt file so i will edit this now so inside this requirements.txt file i will add the unicorn so we need this unicorn to start the django server so let me add the gunicon in the project uh, files also so just click on commit changes to make the changes so just click on commit changes here you can see that now the requirements the text file has been updated we have the pymeo pdf we have the google generate ai we need the django and we need the gunicon to start the django server so these are the four dependencies that we need to deploy the django on the render now for the start command just type gunicon so gunicon then you need to provide your Django project name. So make sure you type uh, where the WSJ file is located. You can see the WSJ file is located on this EA paper here. You can see that this is the file we need. So this file is located under the AI paper. So you'll have to type the command AI paper dot WSGI. So you'll have to call this file. This file is located inside the EA paper. Make sure you type your WSJ location. Where the WSGS location can be under different folder if you name your project or folder differently. So make sure you type your project name that is the a paper dot WSDI. So you'll have to call this file. So make sure you type that. So that's it. We don't have to do anything here. The vendor will do the job for us. We just have to select the uh, free type. So let me select this free type. You consider for the free type so just select the free type so if you want any environment variables you can do that so i don't have the environment variables finally just click on the apply web service now you don't have to uh, do anything the render will do the job for you you just have to have your patience and django will do everything from forming the repository and installing all the required dependencies and starting the django server and finally it will deploy this for you consider how it starts installing the libraries for the project you can see that the build is successful now it is deploying so once it is deployed we can go to this url to access our project before that we'll have to wait to make sure our deployment is successful
so you will get a message like your services live then we can access the url to see our project for that we'll have to wait so it will take at least two to three minutes just have patience you can see that it is running unicorn a paper dash wgi you can see that now our service has been live so now you can go to the url to access your project file so let's select that url it will open up in the new tab you can see that now our project has been successfully deployed to this url a correction dot on render dot com so we have all the login pages here student login student register teacher login teacher register here so let's try to login using the student credentials so let me login using the student credentials before that let's create a student account first so for the username i'm gonna type my name and for the uh, email address so let me give me a sample email address here and for the password i'm gonna type just one two three and for the role i'm gonna select student and just click on register our account has been created successfully so let's try to log in using the same credentials that we have created now so i'm gonna go to the home page to log in so just click on student login and click on login you consider this is the student dashboard so we don't have any exams you can create an exam by just click on fill exam details so let's select the year select the exam and for the staff name i will type randomly and for the subject i'm gonna type python and finally click on submit you consider we have created the uh, exam right so let's open a new tab so i'm gonna go to the uh, teacher dashboard now so for that i'm gonna log out and go to the teacher login so for the teacher login i have the account here so i will log in using that credential you can see that this is the teacher dashboard so we have created the cat phone on the first year we have all the exams created for the all the different years so if you want to create any exam you can do that here but i will leave this so if you want to see the student info so we are working on it so this is just as we want so it is working on it so let's click on back so if you want to see the submissions you can do that by click on view submissions so we have the student details here student details along with the year exam type submitted at the OCR answer sheet you can see the status so if you want to see the cat phone for the second year you can also do that so you can see that we also evaluated this successfully cat phone for the third year you can see that this is the student that we have created now on march 2 2025 at the time 128 so if you want to upload the file you can do that after you have selected the file you can select the upload button but i will close this and the result is pending uh, now our django project has been successfully deployed if you want to change the domain name you can go to the render.com and you can see option called the domain and the settings just click on the uh, settings so inside the settings you have an option called the domain so you can change the domain if you already have your domain name so if you scroll down you can see an option called the custom domains just click on add custom domains and give your domain name so if you already have your domain you can type your domain name here so i'm gonna type a paper dot internet dot live and just click on save so once you have the added a c name that is the c name record the domain will will be successfully pointed to this url here so we'll have to add this or dns record to the dns provider so once we have added you can click on the or verify and the domain will be successfully connected so if you want to delete this just click on delete button and delete custom domain that domain will be deleted successfully so this is how you deploy a django project in render in just a few button clicks so this is for this video and i will continue in the next one